first step, install the software. You could either use the CDs that came with the kit or from the downloaded software off the instruction website. Install the CPSRF receiver before you launch the CPS software. You can see inside Device Manager, the receiver was detected. Upon first using CPS, you will be prompted to create a database. Follow your district standard on where you need to save your documents or files. Put all of the files inside of a folder. Next we need to create a class. Follow these steps. Just enter the required information. Name the class. Now we need to add students to that class, so select it, click Student. Just hit the Return key until you have the number of students in your roster match the number of students in your class for CPS. Click the Engage tab and then the Engage button. Now you'll need to select which class. In the event you've created more, make sure you choose the correct class. Click OK. Click the verbal button. Now select the format of the question you'd like to ask. For example, I have a PDF open that has an A, B, C, or D option. So I selected that one, multiple choice A through D. Now the students can answer the question. As they answer, their number goes dark blue. If they change their answer, it goes yellow. If they send the same answer, it flashes green. When done, click End. The chart will appear, and here you can select the correct answer. Finish it close. When you're done asking questions, hit the red X and this will minimize that bar. When you're totally done asking questions, click on close. 